I don't do mirror videos very often, but I wanted everyone to see my sweet new Goosebumps shirt I got. It's got a horror from Horrorland on it. So with that being said, gonna show off them Freddies I got too. It's been a while. I figured maybe now would be a good time to do a collection video update before I pack it all away, because I'm moving soon. Here we go, guys, from the top here. So yes, let's break these shells down. Let's we'll start at the tippy top. I got a Goosebumps 2015 movie promo. It says see in real 3D. I've got a Freaky Frames, a Goosebumps 2 poster, which that, that movie got way too much hate. Real talk, it was not that bad. I've got a picture of me and my dad over at Disney. I got some masks here. I got some other masks too, but they're not really Goosebumps. They're just freaky. So, the masks up here, we, and starting from left to right. I've got Slappy from Trigger Treat Studios. Haunted Mask 2 from Trigger Treat Studios. That is a horror from One Day in Horrorland from the 90s. I think you could buy that at Party City back in the 90s. I don't know. I bought it on eBay. I've got the Haunted Mask, and you can't see it on his neck, but that's a goose pump pendant around it. I had bought on eBay as well. Haunted Mask is from Trigger Treat Studios, and Curly is also from eBay. Same era as the Horror Mask. So, the box that Slappy's head is sitting on, the box that Curly's head is sitting on. Those are the Fright Rags mask shirt box set combo. So, I got the only two they had. Next, we got the two retrospective tins right here. A bottle of bat wings. Uh, we got a slappy dummy, and his face is hidden. Goosebumps board game. Another Goosebumps board game. Slime move my brothers, which I've made into monster blood. Same with this one. It's weird. The slime is starting to set. You can see it's like six years old. So, e fun. Super fun. All uh, right. That's really about the top shelf there, honestly. Just a bunch of mannequin heads that are holding up my masks. So, moving on. So, first shelf, let's do it. Complete run of the original 62, and as I buy the box sets, I place the box sets where they would be if you were looking at just a box of the collection. All the way up into the harder to find ones, 61, 62, the triple headers, the first three more tail series. Then I got a few odds and ends on the top of the shelf. So, I'll pull down my Beetlejuice cup real quick. Get you a view of that. Look, it's real life Portland at Disney's MGM Studios in Florida. The only perk to living in Florida. Cake worthy pens. These are some random ass stickers. I think they're from a Hallmark. On the top of the shelf here, we have a here we have a Curly's keepsake box. It's a Give Me Goosebumps. It's from Target. It's a Target exclusive. Back to school era of '96. So I keep two of the more tales to give yourself in there. And if you notice, they're a bit different than those. So yeah. I've also got Goof Lumps 1 and 2, the only two. The Tim Jacobus Stay Your Basement Print of the Art, a haunted mask with a mask in it, and this is a Go Eat Worms journal. So, like I said. So, postcard book 2. Postcard book 1, those are both complete. Monster Blood, this was slime, but look how it's dried up. So, this, uh, yeah. This little figure is from the board game you can't see. But, it's not part of that set. I got that from a different game, honestly. When I was a kid, I had the game. I kept That's the only piece I kept. I don't know. I'm weird. Spooky Skelly Skeleton Hand. Goosebumps Pencil from an art set. Uh, this is the Torch from the Creepy Co. box set. Nostalgia Pictures. See, look, I was the whore when I was a kid. I had a Goosebumps birthday. And then we have the AMC Goosebumps 2 Slap Bracelet. I think that was a UK exclusive, but don't quote me on that either. This is from like the, uh, this is from one of the sets. I don't know which one, it doesn't work. I got it for five bucks. So yeah, that's the, uh, that's the first shelf. Shelf numero dose. Let's just do a quick overview. More of the Horland MGM pictures. This is a mask from 36, the Haunted Mask 2. Halloween edition, it came with the mask. Got the mask for a few bucks on eBay. It came from Ohio, and then we cascade right into the Yourself series. Skirt. Another creepy finger. Actually, it goes to something else on the shelf. I just haven't fixed the thing on the shelf yet. My candle gets in the way, but it's a full run of the 
Give Yourself series. You have the special eight editions of the, you know, the harder to find Give Yourself special editions. And then that starts the 2000 series, which go all the way to the next shelf. But let's overlook on the rest of the shelf before we get any farther. This lights up. I used to use this for D&D. Now he's just a spooky prop. What's this? Uh, don't worry about that. That was uh, art I did. That was art I did for the Goosebumps Horland game. Uh, Phantom of the Torium art. And essentially, that was Ezekiel. And you know what's bullshit about that, guys? Real quick rant here. I won that contest. I was one of the three winners. And they changed the rules because I already won something else. And I didn't want to make it look like I was a favorite. So that pissed me off. Oh, before I forget. Goosebumps 2 Little Movie promo. Just like the one up there. Rant over, though. Goosebumps for town shit. Not important. So, got a Jason Voorhees mug with a Creepsville thing in it. And I had Goosebumps a bookmark I found in one of the many books I've collected. Here, we have more of the Tales to Give Yourself series. I'm only missing one of them. And that right there is an autographed copy of the Attack of the Graveyard Ghouls. You guys can see that video on my channel. I'm not taking it down. Calling all creeps trading card. More nostalgia pictures. A little spooky ghost. A haunted pen. This pen is from Creepy Co. Powered by Goosebumps bumper sticker. This is a rebate you can get in a VHS. It's two dollars off. This is an extremely hard to find library hardback copy of The Mummy Walks. So, even though it's beat the hell, I kept it. This is a hula girl from Dead Island, but uh, Dead Island or Tide Collector's Edition, but whatever, not important. More cake worthy pens. That's a sticker. Uh, it was a Grim Reaper. I like the company, so I plan to buy more stickers. That's why that's there. So, shelf number two. Shelf number three. I'm gonna have to do my shoes here. It's starting to get in the way. Shelf number three is a little it's a little weird on the packing of it, so let me just start off the bat here. Off the very top, this is that bag that Bjorn and me were supposed to trade for. It never happened. Lol. Whatever. Uh, got some folders here. Goosebumps Completionist. And... I just sent one of these to the real R.L. Stein collector. Uh, more stuff. That's the stuff for the Goosebumps pen. Zach Baby TV actually sent me that Goosebumps pen, which you'll see in the shelf. This was the picture. If not you take the picture of Disney, that's the picture frame. After that random junk, it's just a bunch of these. These are the, you see them in my Goosebumps Ghost Reviews. I've sent a few to Josh and Brandon. They're the, the lithographs you can hang up. I used to get them back in the 90s by sending away for them. I think they were part of like the fan club series. I'm not fully sure. So, move this real quick. Shelf number three. We finish the Give Yourself series and go right into Horland, 2008. Um, put this down here. From the Horland, we go right into the Most Wanted. From Most Wanted, we hit the movie books, and I've got a couple reprint collections of the Vanishing Collection and the first couple Slappy Worlds as well. Not really keeping up with Slappy World. I probably should, but what else? Then I've got the Goosebumps graphic novels, and then that big Write Your Own Fright from the Horland series. I've also got some Goosebumps calendars. So, I've got the 98 and 96, and I'm missing the 97. That's a... Spooky Hourglass with a Horror Burrito sticker. Rep the Horror Burrito. I've got cut two mugs on this shelf. So I've got Sam from Trigger Treat with a holographic bookmark. A library edition of, the, which is hardback, uh, the Monster Blood 4. So, you know, had to keep that. Michael and Chucky Erasers, a bat. This is some Hollow Scream money from when I went to Hollow Scream a couple years ago. Another VHS insert. This one is uh, the Werewolf from Fever Swamp. This is from a bookstore a friend got me. Autograph picture of Zach Baby TV, part of our podcast. Anyway, that's uh, that's shelf number three. Nothing cray cray, but you know, got them spooky vibes. Shelf number four is where I get really weird here. So, I'll just take this down real quick. All my DVDs are here. I recently cut them down. If I had duplicates and stuff, I got rid of them. So this is just what I need. If it's not part of it, it's gone. Um, see, it's just my DVD set of the series, even though you can watch it on Netflix. Behind here. I have on my UK Hippo Print 3-in-1 book. A bunch of hardbacks, whether they were collections, collections, or just hardbacks in general. Uh, found this recently. Haunted Lighthouse is cool. It's the box set for the reprints. This is some older stuff that is not part of it. And I'm not going to open this. This Hollow's Heat book is my money book. Lots of Fear Street go all the way behind here. Creepy Co. box sets. Uh, Fear Street books. This is the gruel I made for that one Goosebumps podcast, which is dead. The Horror Burrito again. Liquid Goo. These are DVD covers for the DVDs. They're over here. You could buy them at Target back in, like, the early 2000s. You, they used to come on for the front of the cellophane wrap. Like, I don't know. They were very promo. They're really cool little posters, so I decided to keep them. I mean, I guarantee they're hard to find. So, yeah, that's shelf number three. Uh, this is from the Goosebumps Tell. 
So yes, like I said, it gets just kind of gets weirder and weirder as we go down. And then we get to the bottom here. The Slappy's head. It's one of those desk caddies. It's broken, but I was given I was given it, so I kept it. I actually used it in my last episode of Goosebumps Goes Through Reviews. Puzzle. Behind the puzzle are a bunch of VHSs. I've already packed some of them up. I didn't plan on making this video until after I started packing, so that's on me. This is a $50 collection uh, because it's sealed still. These are one of the harder to find collections, so if you find yourself the House of Horrors box set, I'd pick it up, definitely. Don't pay an arm and a leg, I didn't, but I got a really good deal on that one. Uh, let's move the recently added fan club pack for my Shivers book, so. Shivers. I've almost got a full set. Another box set. Reprints. And then R.L. Stein books that lead up to the Nightmare Room. And then I have some spooky soda. This was another insert. This is a DVD insert. It's like, collect them all. And then I've got not one but two binders. So, yeah. That is my Goosebump shelf. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. I hope you enjoyed my collection. I know I do every time I walk in. I love this thing. Although if someone offered me like $5,000 right now, I'd sell you everything on the shelf, including the shelf. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. As always, I thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like. Maybe think about subscribing if you haven't done that so already. And uh, don't forget to tell me in the comments what your favorite item in your Goosebumps collection is as well. I've been your host, Bumps in the Night. And remember, dear viewers, you never know what goes bump in the night.